We've already seen that you can left click on multiple layers in the layer stack and then click and drag and move them around simultaneously. But if you wish that kind of flexibility on a regular basis, you can link or group content together as well. In the case of the surfboards, they're juxtaposed in a way where I wish to keep them arranged the way they are, but I might want to move them all around. First thing is, if I click on the top surfboard in the stack and hold down the shift key and shift and left click on the bottom one, you can go down to the bottom of the layers panel and click on the link symbol, and that will add a link icon adjacent to all of those layers. Now, if I just left click on one of them, I can hover over with a move tool active and click and drag and they'll all move at the same time. If I go to the edit menu and choose free transform, notice that I get a bounding box that appears around all of them. And if I wish to hover on the outside, I can use the rotate symbol to click and hold down the mouse and drag clockwise or counterclockwise. So I can rearrange that content by moving or transforming whenever I wish. I'm going to click cancel in this case. You'll notice that if I left click on surfboard three, I can go down to the bottom of the layers panel and I can unlink it. Now that will not be connected to surfboard two or surfboard one, but notice the very faint linking symbols. If I click on surfboard two here, it is still linked to surfboard one. When I hover over and click and drag, it's just these two surfboards that are linked together. So you can pick and choose whichever layers you link or, or wish to unlink in the layers panel. Now I'm going to hover over and control and left click or command and left click on the layer called surfboard one and unlink those as well. Another technique is grouping. So if I select all the surfboard layers in the layer stack, you can go down to the folder icon and click on to create a new group. It does that. And it also puts the selected layers into that group itself. It's given a generic name of group one. And if I double click on that, I'll call it surfboards. You'll notice that it has a visibility icon. So if I click on it, all three surfboards disappear. Click back on, they reappear. And the little toggle here will allow me to view and interact with those three layers in exactly the same way that I could before. I can turn each of them on or off, or I can click on one and then click and drag and move that around. But where you have content in the layer stack where they are positioned in the same area of the stack, you can group them. You can make the stack itself smaller and less cluttered. And you can also click and drag and move the entire group of contents around if you wish to. So there are some benefits over groups that we don't get with linking options. Those are ways in which you can organize or link your content together in the layers panel.